In this video, I want to introduce you to a term uh, known as an asymptote. Okay, so it's got quite a strange spelling. So we don't really pronounce the P. Okay, it's got a silent P, so asymptote. Some people pronounce it asymptote, okay, but it sounds a little bit stranger if you do that. Okay, so what is an asymptote? Well, you will have met asymptotes before. You might have been told uh, precisely that it is an asymptote, but you will have seen graphs like y equals 1 over x, for example, which looks like this. And you'll also have seen uh, y equals tan of x, which looks something like this. Okay, so there are parts of the graph where you've got these dotted lines. Um, and of course, you've now met y equals 2 to the x. All three of these curves actually have asymptotes. Okay, now it's likely that if you've met the word asymptote before, it's from this graph, the tan x graph. Those vertical dashed lines are what we are referring to as asymptotes. These are examples of, of vertical asymptotes. Okay? They are parts of the graph that are undefined. So tan of x um, kind of breaks down at those points. The curve doesn't exist there because at those points you're actually dividing by zero. Um, 1 over x has exactly the same problem when x is 0. And so it has a vertical asymptote on the y-axis. It also has a horizontal asymptote there. And 2 to the x also has a horizontal asymptote there. So how can we describe these? Well, asymptotes, um, if they are um, vertical or horizontal, well, asymptotes in general, really, you can say are lines that the curve tends towards. OK, so um, that doesn't mean that an asymptote has to be a line. Um, it doesn't have to be just vertical or horizontal. It can be oblique, so at an angle. OK, um, and you could also have asymptotes that are curved. So the way to really think about it is that um, it's an asymptote if uh, the gap between the asymptote and the curve decreases um, in a certain direction. So you can see that the curve here is getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to the x-axis, never actually reaches it. OK, so it tends towards that. It also tends tending towards the y-axis as well. That's why it's got the y-axis as an asymptote. And the same thing over here. For the tan curve, you can see that it approaches the asymptote there, and it approaches the asymptote there. And again here, and again here. For 2 to the x, the x-axis is an asymptote because the curve approaches it like so, and never actually meets it. Now, vertical asymptotes, OK, can not be crossed. So the curve will never cross a vertical asymptote, OK? However, a curve can cross a horizontal asymptote, OK, or um, an oblique one or a curved one, OK? That can happen. Um, but not if it is vertical, OK? Now, the only ones that we're going to consider on this course are either horizontal or vertical, OK? So this is what they are. This is how to identify them. And we identify them on sketches using a dashed line.